That was loud. That was loud. Very loud. Quick pickup today. Quick little. You know how we do. So, check out the gate swinging. Got some cobalt low profile knee pads. These are on clearance for uh, around seven dollars. Big uh, big upgrade from from what we have here. So, cobalt. Next up, we got some copper benders. These were also on clearance for around six dollars. This is a four piece. It goes from quarter inch to five eighths. Five eighths outside diameter. Yeah, there you go, right there. On the back, and has instructions if you don't know how to use these. But really, you just slide them over the copper, and you're able to bend them without uh, kinking the line. Soft it says your soft copper, soft aluminum. Really, probably not for rigid, because the tensile strength is a lot more, a lot more strong. Next, then lastly, we have a. I got a carabiner. I like to. I like to get those. But uh, we also have the 16 foot tough field tape measure. This was also on sale for around probably 14. Once it was all said and done, tough field tape measure. I love this tape measure. I actually own the 25 foot right here. And uh, as you can see, we use our tools around here. Um, really. This was the last one in the store, which is pretty much the reason I, uh, kind of the reason I got it. But I have, I need, need one for my service bag. I have one of the Milwaukee's, but I'm not really a fan of Milwaukee. So I picked up another tough build. But yeah. There's got to be a better way for this. $13 on some mini cutters, man. I'm using them. Not bad for six. I try to stay on my feet for the most part, you know, but when, when you do need to, in those times you do have to, these are nice to have for uh, for the long run, longevity, because I swear I spent like a 10 hour day on my knees putting in drains, it was awful. It was awful. Bam, knee pads. These dudes are springy. Right on, you know what I mean? I like to, with these, I buy these just because they're, they were marked on sale. They were on clearance too, I believe, just like a dollar, which really, I don't even like that part. Peel the sticker off, throw it off, put it on, throw it on whatever, keep it for keys real quick, or really throw it on something like this. I like to do this. It hangs nicely in my bag because I just, I like this one. I already have one or else I'd put another one on there, but just in case for I feel like that's real handy. TBH2T. Whatever. Limited lifetime warranty. You scan that. Fill all the stuff out on the survey. Take a picture of the receipt. All good, all good. Probably going to get that receipt that I just busted out. I'm about to have the time of my life opening this thing. You got a magnet on the end. And then the 11 foot on a standout. Which is near, near that. I don't see why you'd want to do that really. But it's close to that. It's got, it's got writing on the front and back of the blade. So I've been wanting to do a loadout video. I have two bags. I have my service bag which would probably be a later video. And then I have my commercial, commercial uh, ductwork bag, which really is just my hanging duct bag and my sheet metal, my sheet metal and stuff. 
So if you'd like a loadout, if you want a loadout video, just let me know. Got a lot of cool stuff in there. You can really just see from overview, but I have a replacement. Gotta swap out that, even though they're close to the same size.